Terry Paglula and Jerry Jones are named in the lawsuit that Jim Trotter brought against the NFL. And he cited the racism from these two team owners and how the NFL never does anything about it. And he put the words of Jerry Jones in there along with um, the Bills owner. And man, he wants to address it. And when you listen to the way Jerry Jones address it, he doesn't say anything but just keep saying over and over, it's inaccurate, it's inaccurate. And how he supported more minorities, owners and all this stuff. He didn't even have that many working for him in his organization. And he was cited for that multiple times. Jerry Jones don't want anybody that look like us near him. And we know it, you know, and these dudes, they're only billionaires off the backs of black men. So let's get into this story. This is so laughable. It's not even funny. So Jerry Jones want to address and uh, speak out about the claims of what Jim Trotter has in his lawsuit against Jerry Jones. So he says um, in his first public comment about a racial discrimination lawsuit from former NFL media reporter Jim Trotter against the NFL, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones says in a statement attributed to, uh, says it's not accurate. And this is all he just keeps saying over and over, but he doesn't say exactly what's not accurate accurate in this discrimination lawsuit. According to the lawsuit, Jones told Trotter that if Black people want more representation in decision-making positions among NFL organizations, they should buy them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, have they ever made it easy for a black man or even a former player to purchase a team, be real. And Jerry Jones knows this too. He knows it too. They never made it easy for something like that to happen. Barely want to have a black coach around. So some of the representation is not accurate, Jones said. And you know, if you notice, this is all he keeps saying over and over, over and over, over and over. It's not accurate. It's not accurate. Jones said after the Cowboys beat the Jets 30 to 10 on Sunday, and then he goes on to say, it's just not accurate. But I do and I want to, and I have worked hard to get minority ownership in the NFL. Now, let me stop right there. If Jerry Jones worked really hard to get minority ownership, now I'm, I'm, we're talking about black people. We're not talking about everybody, people of color. We're not talking about that. All right. Do y'all see it? What team? Name the team that have ownership by a black owner, black owner at the same status of Jerry Jones. Name them. Name them. And you know what? Jerry Jones ain't naming them either. Because if there were black owners, wouldn't he be mentioning it in this article? Oh, well, this person and this person, they're black and they own teams. He's trying to convince us he worked hard to make that happen. But it's funny, we haven't seen it happen. But this is what he's trying to imply. So let's go on. Now, I spent a lot of time on it. So he spent a lot of time on trying to get someone melanated put in as an owner of a team. Do you see these melanated owners. I'm talking about us. I'm not talking about anybody outside of, I'm talking about us. 
who represents the majority of the NFL players. Okay, so if you name someone and they don't represent the majority of the NFL players, I'm just going to ignore you. So he said, and, and I'm all for it, of course. If white owners were for black men owning teams, we would have seen it by now. We would have seen it by now. You're not all for it. You're all full of word salad, but you're not all for it. Prodder's lawsuit also alleged that Bill's owner, uh, Terry Pelula, uh, said in a conversation with Jones was contentious. Jim, this is what Jerry says, Jim is a friend and I think a lot of him, Jones said. I hate that we got some litigation. Hopefully, we'll address all of that. The overall concern is just not accurate. You see how he keeps saying that over and over, but he's not telling you what in the litigation is not accurate. He's not giving you any specific. He just keeps saying it's not accurate. So Jones said he would like more minorities to get involved in the NFL and was asked about former NBA star Magic Johnson currently owning a percentage of the Washington Commanders. Magic is a great ambassador and I carry him piggyback to get him in the NFL, Jones said. The financial hurdles for everything has gone up. And that's it. Y'all make sure. This is why I said when I talked about business, and many of you remember me saying this, what they do to keep us out, they'll price us out of everything. They'll raise it so high that they know the average black man, woman cannot afford it. And that's what they have been doing in all of these business industries. And as you can see, they did this in the NFL. And he even admitted it's financial hurdles. Yeah, because you priced it so high that it's unaffordable to a melanated person. You know, like the ones that represent the majority of your players. That's what I'm talking about. But... Percentage-wise, there are qualified people out there. There's always been qualified people out there, Jerry. You know, that's one thing. Y'all all play up that qualified stuff like nobody's qualified on the planet but you. We know you're lying. We know you're not telling the truth. We know you're lying. We know you're full of crap. If there aren't here this minute, they're on their way because that's what's happening in this country is that people do gain on it. And many of the people that recently have gotten involved in the NFL might not have been able to do so 20 years ago. Okay, why weren't they able to do so 20 years ago, Jerry? Why? Why? You know why? Because people that look like you in the organization have gone above and beyond to keep them out. So, y'all, it's funny how he replied. His reply is really no reply at all. And so typical. You know, their word is supposed to be viewed as gospel. You know? And it's absolutely ridiculous for real. Y'all tell me what you think about Jerry Jones' uh, not accurate response to Jim Trotter's NFL lawsuit for discrimination and retaliation. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. And don't y'all remember, wasn't it Jerry Jones that threatened his players if they took a knee? I sure remember it. Peace, family.